Uh, I was trying to get myself situated, but I'm situated now. Mm -hmm. Firstly, it's mad hot out here. Secondly, I'm going to show you some books that I picked up. <laughs> I know, I, I think I may have a little bit of a problem when it comes to the books, um, but I don't mind. I love books and i am currently reading it is the beginning of october right now we're in the second week of october and i really want to october has five weeks i really want to have read at least five books by the end of october <sighs> so anyway i wanted to show you some of the books that i picked up and this vlog is definitely going to be out in time for me to make this announcement if you are in Johannesburg um, and you buy you're a book lover and you buy books from exclusive books if you are in Johannesburg I really would recommend that you take a trip to the exclusive books pop-up store which is in Eastgate Mall if you're in Johannesburg you know where Eastgate Mall is listen the books that are in that store are all 50% off and I'll show you some of them that I picked up. Some I picked up at a different exclusive books, which was at normal price. But the books that are in the exclusive books store in Eastgate are all 50% off of the price that's on the book. There's books here which I haven't read um, and that's just incredibly terrible because I keep buying books and I'm not reading as fast as I buy. <laughs> but that's not the point. The point is I'm going to show you because I do know that there are people who appreciate the book segments of my videos. Um, before I get into that, listen, honey. Mm. It's so good. And I think my phone is ringing. So the book that I'm currently reading now, and I, you must have seen this in the beginning of my vlog, is the guest list and i started reading it last night and i am what exactly 100 pages in i really want to have this book done by <laughs> by this weekend it's saturday now and i really want to have it finished by tomorrow evening or if not monday the latest I really want to get through my books very, very quickly. But this is the guest list by Lucy Foley, and it is a thriller. And oh my goodness, so far, I feel like if I could sit and read this the whole day, I really would, but I might have to meet up with one of my friends for lunch. But anyway, this is a book that is essentially set on a remote island where there is a wedding that's happening. And... Um, it's a number of guests that have been invited to that wedding, but essentially what happens is on the night of the wedding, someone dies, someone dies. It's a thriller. Of course, somebody's going to die. So that's how the book essentially opens up, uh, with the death of one of the, um, people at the wedding. Now we don't know who the person is, but I feel like it's very character driven because each and every chapter, very short chapters, which I love, that's, this is one of the reasons why I love thrillers because the chapters are often shorter, which I really, really appreciate. Um, so every chapter is the perspective of a different member of the wedding party so every single chapter is from this one and this one and this one and the day before the wedding or now just after the they find out that somebody's been murdered and all of that and so you kind of it's very it's very character driven which i really love you get an insight into each one of the people that are there um but also what you pick up from the very beginning of the book i mean i'm only 100 pages in but what you actually pick up is that the relationships that they have with one another whether it's the 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 groom and the bride or the the bride and her sister or whatever the relationships that they have with one another are not as 
clear cut as they seem like you know they're very pretentious with one another they smiley smiley and whatever whatever but their inner thoughts this is what you read in each chapter yeah it kind of gives off an impression that you actually don't like this person so as you're reading that you're thinking about okay who's who's died because we don't know who's who's died yet 100 pages in and i don't know who's died yet but at the same time who could it potentially be because these people actually don't like each other so really really interesting love it love it love it so much so well written um great book great 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 book two books that i've heard so much about and i had to get them and uh one of the books i waited quite a while for and this one i yeah i called in they got it for me two days later i went to go pick it up but oh my goodness these two books they are firstly i prefer thriller books okay i don't I will read the adult contemporary. I don't, I hardly ever read romance uh, and all of that, but I prefer thriller. These two are horror novels. Am I ready? No, no, I'm not. But the synopsis of these two books is so insane. Oh my God, it matches with my plant. Can you see that? The synopsis of these two books is so insane that I just, I just cannot read them. Cannot not read them, you know? So... Um, this is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Mare, Silvia Moreno Garcia, and this is The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. Very, very, the, the, the synopsis of this is, these two books are extremely exciting. So this one follows, uh, the main protagonist, her name is Naomi, Noemi. Noemi. Uh, Noemi essentially receives a letter. Noemi's father receives a letter from Noemi's cousin who is currently, who just got married um, and she lives with her husband, uh, Victor. I don't know what the husband's name is. Virgil, I think. And um, basically it's a distressing letter from the cousin Catalina to Noemi uh, asking Noemi to come because she feels that her husband is poisoning her. So Noemi is this young socialite, you know, who's living her best life, glamorous, all of that, blah, blah, blah. She's not really keen on going to go find out what's happening with her cousin and uh, the husband. But of course, her father's like, nah, you gotta, no, no. So she goes and very strange things happen. Uh, it is a horror gothic novel, so... Um, Gothic is often associated with very atmospheric and, and, and normally architecture of a space. So normally haunted houses kind of things. So the house is quite strange when Naomi, uh, Noemi gets there and um, the husband is strange and all of that. Funny things start happening. Very excited about this, but apparently it is quite gory. Uh, some really, 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 really messy things that happen in that. So, can't wait to read that. And this one, The Only Good Indians, apparently is quite worse than this one. Um, and definitely a horror that follows the life of four friends who um, did something at an earlier stage of their lives that involved hunting. If you look at it, those are horns, like elk horns. So that involved hunting of these elk or animals. And basically a decade later, so that happened like a, a decade ago. And then a decade later, these boys, men are now being stalked by some entity that has a lot to do with what they did 10 years ago. It's just, I'm very excited, very, very excited about this one, but I'm quite frightened to read it because I'm not a horror novel reader. My friend Mbali has been trying to get me to read Stephen King's oh, Pet Cemetery, and I've just been like, okay, girl. I saw the trailer. My mother used to read uh, Pets, uh, no. My mother used to read Stephen King a lot. Um, so when I saw the trailer of Pet Cemetery on Netflix, I was just like, ah, you want me to read what? <laughs> but let me pack up here and then I will probably touch base with you guys when I'm upstairs doing my face for potentially going out or not, not too sure. Okay.
you see a little bit of condition at this light, this side, because I've got my ring light on. Let me show you. Can you see that? Can you see that? That's, that's the ring light. Basically, I'm getting ready to do my online book club. We're meeting today, and let me maybe rather put you... I'm getting ready to do my first book club meetup, and I can already see three people are online. So, this is the book that we're going to be discussing. We're going to be talking about The Girl with the Louding Voice by Avi Dari. I finished reading this about a week ago. I've got a whole lot of tabs on the book, but um, really, really excited. I want to see how this one is going to go, and hopefully it'll go well. Um, I don't know. Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some dude crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while I'm living that high life Time to catch a flight but you can make me go Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro, back and forth, yeah Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play the waterway it's that 